Apple is terrorizing its customers with forced upon limitations. One of them is that, given iOS devices fully support both flashcard slots and USB host, none of the iPods or iPhones feature an onboard USB or SD slot. This accessory was designed to address this issue. It comes in a plastic bag, so let's unpack it. The dock connector is covered with transparent cap. It is nice that the connector is raised on some sort of pedestal, which is a good idea if you plan to use a cover skin or a case. Such adapters also come without the connector pedestal, and many eBay sellers have both pictures in the same listing, so it's a good idea to contact the seller and clarify what exactly are you buying. This is basically a card reader and OTG USB to Apple Dock converter. It has a tiny switch which selects mode from card reader to USB host, so don't forget to switch it for correct operation. So let's test it out. First test, USB keyboard. Put the switch into USB position and connect the keyboard. Well, it doesn't work. The scroll and caps lock LED do not turn on and the press keys do not appear as characters. Also, the on-screen keyboard comes up, which means the iPad does not recognize the hardware keyboard. Now let's test different USB storage devices. Keep in mind that the drives must be either FAT32 or HFS formatted and they must have a DCIM folder in the root of the device. That is the only way the iPad will read pictures and movies. Another stupid Apple limitation. So the first storage is an external USB hard drive. The iPad obviously can't power that, so we must use a Y cable to provide external power for the drive. Then connect the HDD to the iPad. The light is on, but nothing happens. It doesn't work. Next stop, a phone. I switch this Nokia to mass storage mode. It is FAT32 formatted and have a DCIM folder where it stores images from the built-in camera. We connect it and nothing. The device is not recognized. Proceed to the USB thumb drives. The first one is a slim transcend. Plug it in. Nothing happens. The next one is an OEM one. Connect, it pops out errors at random. They include device cannot read, USB device requires too much power, and even accessory not supported. In the latter case, you have to reboot the iPad to make it recognize the adapter again. The last one is another transcend. I reformatted it from FAT32 to FAT, which seems to have better results. Sometimes the iPad will recognize it, but quickly fail. At very, very rare occasions I was able to copy some files. So generally speaking, the USB part does not work. Perhaps the wires on the adapter board are too tiny to conduct the power required by the USB devices. The only thing that actually works is the SD card reader. The only SD card I have is the one from the camcorder I used to shoot videos, so I had to record this part on the cell phone. Sorry for the quality. This is an SD adapter with a micro SD card inside by Kingston. Flip the switch to SD. and insert the card. The iPad reads the files from the camera. The funny thing is, after you import the files, the iPad offers to delete them. That means it has write access to the card. However, there is no official way to write or copy anything from the iOS device to the external storage. Another stupid Apple limitation.